What's up guys, John the Realtor here. It's been a minute since I have been on YouTube, but I wanted to come at you right now to talk about a couple things. Number one, what's going on in the market right now? And number two, is it gonna crash? That's all I hear. So let's talk about it and let's see what you think after the video. Let's go. Hey, thanks so much for stopping by for this will the market crash video. I don't think so. Um, listen, it's been a while since I've made a video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me. And for those that have subscribed, thank you so much for sticking in here and not and not unsubscribing because we're going to bring back videos and a bunch of updates. But for now, let's talk about the crash. All right. So will the market crash? I don't think so, guys. Let's go back in time for a second to the original crash. What was that caused by? That was caused by a bunch of different bad loans, the mortgage industry, a lot of factors were in that, but we don't have that today, okay? The loan industry is much more guided. There's a lot, uh, a lot more rules and regulations attached to loans now um, to protect homeowners. So it's not gonna happen like that, okay? So in my opinion, and I, no one has a crystal ball, guys, I'm gonna set that disclaimer up right now. But my take on it is that we are not gonna have the same crash that we had 15, 14 years ago. Um, my take is that we will eventually have a dip in values. What does that mean? That means that over 2020 and 2021, due to the pandemic, we thought it was going to go down in value when the pandemic started. We were wrong. The values obviously went up, and not just in, in our area, but nationwide. The values went up and the market went crazy, right? So um, in, in my opinion, we are not gonna have a crash. We're gonna have a, like I said, a slide or a dip down in values. Well, why? If you remember back to 2020, the rates for a mortgage went all the way down and, and a refinance went all the way down to 1.99% at one time. That was an all time low. What happened after that? Well, they had to stabilize and then they increased a little bit over the last two years or 18 months or so. So now the rates are anywhere between 2.99 to 3.25 and they did go up. So as of today, I don't have that rate, um, but I can get it for you and put it up here on the screen. So as you can see, a 30 year fixed conventional loan as of yesterday, January 21st, 2022 is at 4%. 30 year fixed FHA at 3.731%, uh, VA is at 3.729%, and a USDA 30 year fix is at 3.952. Now these are all 30 year fixed, loan amount 400,000, 5% down payment, and uh, 680 to 699 credit score. So obviously there's a lot of factors to your loan and your interest rate. So uh, keep in mind that that could be a lot lower based on the amount down and credit scores going up and down and so on and so forth. Uh, but we are supposed to have some rate increases this year. So as that happens, the buyer pool shrinks a little bit. Well, you might say, well, what do you mean it might shrink? Well, if you are a buyer and let's say all your factors have you maxed out at $325,000 for a home, for example, okay? And let's say your rate is 3.25. If the rates jump up, let's say to 3.75 and you're already maxed out, well now you might have to look for a home at a less purchase price, let's say 315,000. Well, if I'm a seller and I have a $325,000 home and the rates went up and my buyer pool went down, what will happen at that point? I may have to reduce the price or I may have to take a lower offer so that I can sell my home. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean that that's gonna happen right away because there's so many buyers out there that the seller will find someone to purchase that home, okay? Now, over time, as the rates continue to increase, we will have a dip in values. So that's my take on it, guys. I certainly don't think the market's gonna crash. What I think you should do if you're a seller is definitely sell your home now because the rates are still low enough to where the buyers will come. Uh, over time though, like I said, if those rates go up, you're, you're gonna slide a little on your equity and 10% in some areas might be 50, 60, $70,000 guys. So, um, you know, whether you have to drop your, your, your sales price, you know, 10, 20 grand, 
that's ten twenty thousand dollars you're gonna have in your pocket so I really don't think that's fair to sellers and I really think that buyers are trying to get into a property right now so I definitely think that you guys like I said if you're sellers sell your home now protect that equity uh, even if you have to rent if you know where you're gonna go if you're going out of state wherever sell your home now um, that doesn't mean that in March April the markets gonna be any worse we don't know that we can only predict based on the interest rate and based on what's happening out there so the values from 2020 to now have gone up each year in the double digit percentage so while that's good for the previous years uh, what we want is we really truly want single digit increases in the percentages 8% 9% in value increases over time not double digits so stay tuned for more um, to keep an eye out on that interest rate uh, if you have a lender and you're looking to purchase talk to him or her and find out what the interest rate is and, and find out a little bit more about the increase and when that's gonna happen um, I appreciate you guys watching uh, if you could please smash that like button for me that really helps me out and I would love for you to subscribe to check out more videos I'm gonna bring out a video weekly on different topics uh, this is raw real estate uh, ring that bell so that you can get notifications and I hope you guys enjoyed we will talk soon stay educated stay motivated have a great day